How about a round of cards? Why not? Playing for coin, though, right? Yeah. Unless you'd rather play strip Quent. Maybe I'd finally come to understand what women see in you. Compare your trouser snakes later. Pox is on the table. <laughs> What's with him? Don't worry about it. Let's play. Good game, Geralt. Especially that move with the... Esco. He doesn't need any praise, just pour. How about a round of... What? Yeah. Maybe... Compare your... <laughs> What's... What? Don't...
Good game, Geralt. Especially that move with the... Esco. He doesn't need any praise, just pour. All right, guys. Bedtime. Speak for yourself. Night's still young as I see it. <laughs> but we're not. And tomorrow's a big day. Fine. Drinking with my mirror image is just no fun. At least it wasn't last time. See? Even you can't stand yourself. Good night. See everyone's up and at him. Hmm. Take it you had a productive evening? Yes. We talked about Uma. Till late. So I guess you didn't get a chance to see to the beams in the tower. Uh, no. But we'll, uh, get to that, I promise. Right, Lambert? You can give the boys a rap on the knuckles later. Let's get to work. Vesemir, learn anything? While you were out hunting fork tails and playing with a megascope, I examined Uma. Notice one thing. At moments of, what's the term, uh, relaxed consciousness, he behaves differently. While falling asleep, he'd pause awake for an instant. Something different about his movements, his gaze then, but only for a moment. So I induced a trance, hypnotized him essentially. No effect at first. But as he dropped into deep lethargy, I heard something. A sigh or a moan. And it wasn't Uma's voice. All right. I just don't get how that helps us. Then keep silent. Thank you, Vesemir. And I apologize for what I said earlier. Have the boys told you what we plan to do? Yes. Don't like it one bit. But I suppose I have to trust you. Right. So what now? We can begin. We need only brew the potions. Wait. Why couldn't we... Do it earlier? Because the preparatory potions for the trial are strongly reactive. They must be administered immediately after they're brewed. Satisfied? Geralt, make the potions. Here are the formulae. Eskel, take a bottle of spirit. Uh, no. After last night, I... And disinfect the tools. Well, chop chop! You don't know. in Uma's body. How did you figure the proportions? Performed a series of complex calculations, extrapolated some data, ran simulations. Meaning, you guessed. Mm. Yes? Yeah. <laughs> 
potions ready. Tools, too. Good. Vesemir? Hookweed extract to deaden the pain. I know done this before. Eskel, make the incisions in his veins. Insert the tubes. Geralt, place the potion vials in the feeders. Ready. Open the valves. It doesn't matter in which order. Pain would have sent him into shock, killed him. So, everything's going smoothly? No, but it's within known norms. Administer the next potion. Why'd you keep the table, then? Geralt, next potion. to do their work. Might take a day, might take more. You need only wait. True. But I must maintain the stabilizing spell. Uma's body is not nearly as resilient as a young candidate witch's. Without this, he... <laughs> Eskel, I'm sorry. Would you mind? Getting some rags? On it. off the floor? No. The trial. If that's Siri in there, she could come out of this crippled, wrong in the head, just emotionless. Thought about that? I trust Yen. She knows what she's doing. Don't doubt that. But do we know what she's doing? She tell you how likely this is to work? Gentlemen, the floor's as clean as it'll ever be. And I need to be wiped down as well. No offense, but I'd rather Geralt did it. Understood. I'd prefer that too. Yes. Uma's body is disintegrating from the inside. Once that's complete, we'll need to reform it, or he'll die. You witches were given mutagens. We will use spells. Hey, Yen. You're dozing off. No. I'm just arresting my eyes. Yeah, it's called sleeping. Then do something to keep me awake. Pinching's apparently effective. Later, perhaps. For now, talk to me. Tell me a story. Heard about the time Siri and I went ice skating? No, not that I recall. The winter she trained here. A couple months in, she started complaining I was too harsh a teacher. Brushed it off at first, then she asked me to go skating with her. Didn't really want to, 
I'd never been before. But she insisted. As soon as we hit the ice, she started skating circles around me, hollering, No, not like that. Footwork. One, then the other. Crossover. No, wrong. Break with the heel of your skate, not the toes. Needless to say, from then on... He's awake. It's time. Time to lift the curse. Prepare the phylactery. Quiet. Listen. Koal. Koal. Kaniatad. Never severe. Koal. Koal. Kaniatad. Never. Kariba. Endir. Geralt. The phylactery, open it! Canitad! Taran Anade! This! Everywhere and nowhere. Listen, Sage. We didn't lift that curse to play riddles with you. Arwen. Arwen. Saram. In Skellige. Follow it into the mists. Hurry. Hurry. I tried to protect her, but the curse, the hunt, has not found the isle as yet. It is a matter of time. They will detect her at once. Enough, Geralt. He's not yet free of death's grip. going to get Siri. Hold up. Don't you think you owe us some answers? How do you know this Avalok? What's Siri been doing with him? Yennefer can tell you. Just keep an eye on him. He's not a friend. Perhaps not, but Siri apparently trusted him. We should at least take his words seriously. You heard what he said. Take Siri from that Isle of Mists, and the hunt will pick up her trail immediately. What then? We'll be waiting for them, swords in hand. Yes. Time we the hunted became the hunters. Geralt will find Ciri and bring her here. And the hunt will follow. They'll expect to catch us by surprise, and they'll be sorely disappointed. We plan to fight them. We five? In a crumbling castle? Do we have a choice? Besides delaying the inevitable? Pretty boy could try to round up a few others who know how to swing a sword. Or wield magic. Fine. I'll get Siri and recruit some allies. Bring everyone here. Got a few favors I can call in. Any good-looking women in that batch? Mm-hmm. Exclusively. 
And you? What do you plan to do? I have Avala to care for. He's certain to die without gentle gradual magic treatment. There's hope if I help him. Not much, but better than naught. The boys and I'll consider how we should greet our uninvited guests. All right. Time I was on my way. Good luck, Wolf. And give Cirilla our love. Come back quickly, Geralt. The curse that held Uma proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists. <laughs> 